Welcome to Sacred Valley. Pisac is the name of the town where this valley begins. It is an important attraction in Cusco due to the archaeological site with impressive features that show how different ethnic groups occupy the area in different moments of time. It is also known for its handcraft market, where Pisac artisans offer their goods to travelers after visiting the Inca site, and it is located next to Main Square of Pisac. According to researchers, the name comes from an Andean bird that lives here, the partridge, which in Quechua is Pisaca or Lutu. For Incas, it was an administrative center with different functions, and that is why it has different areas and buildings. It has four main areas or neighborhoods. Canturracay. It is the first neighborhood you see after entering the complex. On the left side, it has a nice view of the rest of the complex and also you get to see very closely the agriculture terraces it has. And of course, since it has so many terraces, it also had a storage places named Colcas. So we can tell it was an agriculture neighborhood. Calla Casa. It is a pre-Inca building complex which is located in the upper part and in Inca time it was used for religious activities related to the stars and as an urban area where people lived. Intihuatana, a sun observatory which is very similar to the one in Machu Picchu. Which is different about this area is the fine and fancy architecture which was common in sacred places. Pisaca. It was also an, ag an agricultural neighborhood that provided supplies to the royalty at Intihuatana neighborhood. The biggest necropolis or cemetery of ancient Peru. Across from Calla Casa, there is a cliff on the other side of the creek and it is full of unusual holes. They are, as a matter of fact, tombs. According to studies, they were made in the pre-Inca time and there are about 2,500 tombs that had more than one body each. A mysterious place that was named Tantanamarca or the Morning Place. After seeing so much testimony of history, we will visit the colonial town which is full of crafts to buy. There is a formal market to buy souvenirs, but the truth is that almost every house in the surrounding area of the Plaza de Armas sells something. As you can see, really worth it to spend in a day here. Come with us!